In this tips and tricks video, we'll show how to use the Convert to Sheet Metal tool to convert imported solid bodies into fully flattenable sheet metal parts. We'll also look at working inside of a multi-body part file using sheet metal features. So let's get started by looking at this computer power supply. It looks like a sheet metal component, but you'll notice you can't unfold it. This is because there's no sheet metal features in the SolidWorks Feature Manager tree. To convert an imported solid body into a sheet metal part, we'll use Convert to Sheet Metal. You simply need to specify the face you would like to unfold from, and then select any edges you would like to bend. However, there's a button to quickly collect all of those automatically. Finally, specify whether or not you want to keep the solid body or completely discard it. And once this is finished, you'll notice that the part can now be unfolded just like a traditional sheet metal component inside of SolidWorks. But let's continue in closing this computer power supply. To do this, we'll start by creating a traditional BOSS extrude, but we'll make one subtle change. We're going to uncheck the Merge Results option in the Extrusion feature, and you'll notice that SolidWorks Now inside of this part file contains two separate solid bodies. Let's hide the first to see what we've actually created. It looks just like a cube, so how can we work with this in sheet metal? Using the same tools before, convert to sheet metal, We'll go through the same process, except this time we'll manually select the edges to unfold. The preview makes it very clear what we're going to get. And when we press OK, we now have a second sheet metal body inside of our file, which we can unfold just like the first. Let's go ahead and turn both of these on and see what we have. We have a completely enclosed computer power supply, but we want to add one more body to this. There's no reason when working with one feature inside of SolidWorks to assume you're limited to it. You can continue creating sheet metal features just like you would inside of SolidWorks using the traditional sheet metal tools. All the features are enabled so you can quickly add additional sheet metal features to this part file. Likewise, when using patterns with multi-body files, including those containing sheet metal features, you can enable the bodies to pattern option to get more sheet metal components inside of this file. Hopefully you've seen it's really quick and easy to incorporate all your sheet metal designs using a variety of methods. Hopefully you found this SolidWorks tips and tricks useful and please comment on the Solid social media websites for other tips and tricks as well as questions.